I personally am in recovery. When I got into the world of recovery, it seemed to make a lot of sense if I wanted to try to find a way to give back. Via my past experience with beverages, coffee was the, the, the choice. Sober Joe is coffee with a cause. Sober Joe is a, is a fundraising brand designed to raise money for people in recovery that are struggling with addiction. People that help with Sober Joe are people that are in recovery, um, including myself. It's unusual to go to a 12-step meeting that there's not coffee at um, and understand that a lot of people in recovery had a problem with drinking too much of the wrong stuff but still need to drink something and, and coffee's a nice substitute for it. So coffee makes sense for people in recovery. People want to help and it's hard for people to figure out where and how to help. And this is an easy way for people to jump in and do a little bit to, to help with you know, what's called an epidemic now. Our local partner is, is Courage to Change Sober Living. It's a, essentially a halfway house, but it provides a safe, sober environment for people to begin their recovery journeys in. Um, and, and having a, that foundation is important to beginning a recovery. And without a safe place to stay, you can't, it's really challenging to try to get sober, whether it's you know, your addiction to drugs or alcohol or, or both. So Sober Joe's uh, started his coffee with the idea of helping those that needed money to move in, and he would scholarship. Courage to Change was started in July of 2016. And so we started out with one house and then we have four, play, four houses now, two men's and two women's. Well, we've directly helped um, a handful of people find a place to stay and to start their recovery journey. And that's tangible and that's real. It's another way for me to give back um, to people that need it. Um, we try to use people from the halfway house um, to help with things like these demos and sampling events. And it's a small company though, but the, all the folks that we use, we, we, we lean on people that are already in the recovery industry. And you know, so we come from a, from a really authentic place, you know, people in recovery, helping people in recovery. I think one of the big changes that, you know, hopefully we can have some help with is to destigmatize addiction. And what we find from being out in the public and talking to people about Sober Joe is it's, it's really common to hear people say they have a family member struggling with addiction, a, a child or, or, or a parent or a husband or a wife. And to see us out here, I think helps to destigmatize it to some extent. And also just lets people know that they're not alone. They, you know, hit the dark low spot and we're bringing them in and helping them form a community and embracing them and making communities within our houses, which also um, gets them on the right track where they're actually adding to the community by, being wor by working. They get a job within two weeks of coming to us. For me and what I've seen, the best thing to do is just be able to live day by day, live here and now, forget about the past, move on from it, and try not to figure out what you're going to do in the future. It, it gets easier every day and, and, and we're doing this a day at a time which is also how you have to approach recovery which is a day at a time and it can be daunting and it can be overwhelming if you look too far down the road but if you just take what's in front of you right now um, you can make it. <laughs>